All right, I'm wiring my six gauge, or not necessarily wiring, but I'm putting on lugs on my six gauge wire, six gauge. This one happens to be black. And what I'm doing is I am, I'm soldering it on and uh, this then will connect up to the battery. What I'm doing is I'm using for solder some of this stuff here, just some electric lead free solid or lead free solder. And then I'm adding some of this flux on here. And what this flux does is I just dip the tip. I don't know how well that comes out. Just dip the tip in there, just barely. And then what I'll do is I've got this device here, this this, this uh, vice here, just to hold the wire in place. And then when it's all said and done, it should look very similar to this guy here. Now he's not perfectly straight on there. The key really is is to get enough solder. I don't know how well this is going to come out. To get enough solder in there that it fills up that hole. Now ideally I would want to crimp it and then solder it. That way I got mechanical and the solder makes electrical connection. So it's kind of a double connector if you will for lack of better verbiage. I don't have any crimpers that would work other than just pound a hammer on it and a screwdriver and I'm not going to do that because I'll probably just screw it up more. I just went with the solder for now and it seems to be holding and then I will wrap this up with um, red duct tape and the reason why I would wrap it with red duct tape is to keep some of the corrosion um, from getting down in there some of the oxygen that will corrode it and moisture and stuff like that now if you also notice I stripped the the casing back a little too what looks like too far well you've got to do that because as you're heating this up with your torch you don't want to melt this because when you melt this chances are this here will get in between the fight the uh, copper strands and it will affect the connection so you don't want to melt this at all it's better to bring it back too far make sure this is connected and then wrap the tar out of it with um, with duct tape I'm just using a standard torch with a uh, electric start a little propane cylinder like I said those are the lugs I'm using and what I'm doing I put this in there and that flux actually helps hold it a little bit and then I'm making sure that it's pinched down here onto my cement block a little so I'll make sure it's pinched on the cement block so it applies a little bit of pressure on here it doesn't need to be a lot just enough to hold it in place and then when I use a blowtorch on here it'll heat up what you're going to see is you're going to see the flux just start to bubble up or some smoke coming out and then you start pushing your uh, your solder down into it as it goes down it heats up it will just literally sink down into it and then once it pulls up then you're pretty much done you'll use quite a bit of solder and kind of imagine this liquid fills that up but just to also show you a little bit about the wiring when you don't cut it back here's what happens see all that so I had to cut it back even further what I did to get it off was I just heated it up again took a pair of pliers and pulled on the other end while it was sitting in my vise alright let's see how this goes good thing I got a tripod nowadays huh I don't know how well you're going to see all this stuff but all I'm doing is just heat the bottom And pretty much that's it. Now how well of a job I did, I have no idea. But I gotta let it cool now. Now if you notice some of the uh, some of the liquid down there, that's your flux, that's your residue, the solder itself, and then there's also part of that is is the uh, flux from what I understand. So anyhow, I'm no expert at this. In fact, 
this torch I used, this is the first time I've ever used a torch. First time ever using a torch, I've used a, a little soldering iron, never to do something like this. So, live and learn, I guess, huh? Jeff Easy Hot Homestead. I'm connecting battery cables to a 6K, or I'm connecting battery lugs to a 6K wire so I can connect them to my batteries. Mm -hmm.